se preparó, se puso linda, su amiga y amaba. Salió de rumba, la tal y volvió, porque su novio ella le engañó. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It has been a little bit of some time, so I'm gonna give you guys a little update of what I've been doing, all that good stuff. Just came back from vacation. I went to Florida. It was so great. And then as soon as I got back, I had a full week of work. So I've been doing hair and balayages like freaking crazy and it's been so I am going to be talking to you guys a little bit about um, me getting my lips done kind of the process and how much it was and like all that stuff I kind of just wanted to talk about it I'm very very open about what I get done I don't really get a lot of stuff done this was actually the first like cosmetic thing or whatever that I've ever gotten done um, I have a couple of like stuff that I want to do like I really want to get a nose job in the future but as for actually like going through and doing stuff my lips is the first like thing that I have ever ever done so I want to talk to you guys about it just kind of like my experience getting it and how I feel about it and all that kind of stuff so let's just get right on it um it has been almost a week since I got my lips done so this is what they look like right now I feel like they don't look that much different than my lips before I think that they just look a little bit more plump and there's actually stuff in them. I think that my lips before, let me tell you about my concerns about my lips. Um, honestly, you guys, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I did it for peer pressure. All of my coworkers got their lips done and they looked so good. They actually went to a different girl, but they did get their lips done. And I just really liked the way it looked. And then I never really noticed people's lips like that before. And then I started noticing theirs. And then I started noticing on my own. And I was like, my lips are not as big as I thought they were. And I started taking pictures and stuff of like, people would take like my body pics. And I'd be like, why do my lips look so small? It's never like a big issue. So please don't come for me. Like big disclaimer, like if you have nothing nice to say, I'm going to remove your comments. And I'm probably going to block you so please be nice in the comments and if you have nothing nice to say then don't say anything at all it's really not that hard but um yeah so I definitely just did it just to try it out they're not permanent they do go away with time so it's nothing like crazy um I did get my lips done so like I said a week almost a week ago so this is kind of them. I know that there is a two week healing process. The first like two or three days, your lips are gonna look hella swollen. You're gonna look like Jay-Z. They're gonna be huge and obnoxious looking and super, super like fake looking. And when I first got my lips done, I kind of wanted them to look fake. I was like, I kind of like that fake look. Like I kind of want them to be overly big. But then as I, they got really, really swollen, I was like, okay, just kidding I don't like this I feel really weird I feel like people are looking at me and it kind of made me insecure for the first few days and then after I started wearing them they started going down the swelling went down and everything I was like okay they don't look half bad so that was my concern going in was that I was just wanted some plumpness to my lips it wasn't anything like serious where I was like I have to have like new lips and like I have to look a certain way like that wasn't it at all I just really wanted to try them out because why not so the healing process for lips are two weeks if I am correct <laughs> if I don't like forget um it is two weeks so they're still going down I still have like another week or so of healing before they should shrink down to what they will look like so um how long do lip injections last they typically last I think they said about a year more or less and so yeah, so I only got one full syringe. So when I went in, I made my appointment. I went in, it was super cool. What you do, you go into the office, they put you in this room and they put this cream on your lips and it is a numbing cream to needles into your lips. So you're sitting there for like 10 minutes with this cream on you. You walk into another room and then there, um, the lady that was doing mine was like, okay, like what are your concerns with your lips? Like how do you want them to look? Are you like, you know, what is it? So I do think, I don't know, I'm going to wait until they're totally, totally healed. But I did tell her that my top lip has always been a lot bigger than my bottom lip. And I kind of just wanted them to be more even. And then I just kind of want plumpness in general just with both of them. Like I wasn't really super picky with mine. But I did. she went ahead and did my lips. They were super 
Um, they were actually really pretty. Like, instantly you can tell a difference. You can be like, oh my god, they're a lot more plump. Um, how it works is they do put needles. If you don't like needles, this might not be for you. You might not want to get your lips done. Um, so they do put, like, I want to say, like, eight little shots in your lips. So I'm sure if you guys are interested in getting your lips done, you have seen other YouTube videos talking about it where they get a little needle they put it right here and then they'll put it right here and it'll just create like two little bumps they don't really put it like in the middle I mean I guess some do but they focus more like right here and then right here and then there's like a little gap they went ahead and put that in um instantly you feel like really weird um the numbing does <laughs> the numbing lasts for like a, maybe the rest of the day or so um, so you feel really weird, you feel like you have like duck lips and you're just like, I can't talk right, like all this stuff. So when I got mine done, that was kind of like, my experience was that. I mean, I have a pretty high pain tolerance, so it did not hurt. A lot of people ask me if it hurt. It doesn't really like hurt, it just feels like a discomfort. Um, you definitely feel it going in if you get shots like in your arms because you get sick or whatever. Um, then that's pretty much what it feels like but in your lips so it's not like terribly painful it did make my eyes water a little bit but I've never gotten any tattoos or anything so she really couldn't compare the pain to anything but um it wasn't that bad I really didn't like feel it like that so it was pretty good when I left I was kind of like okay they're like looking good I went to work which I don't recommend working the day you get them done or the next day I recommend taking like two or three days off after you get your lips done or make sure they're already off and you're not working or you really just don't care if people see you. But I went to work. Um, I didn't really bruise. They do say that you bruise a little bit and obviously you're going to be swollen. Um, I bruised a little bit right here, but it went away within like a few days. It really didn't bruise. Nowhere else on my lips did it bruise or anything. Um, it was, a, it was a pretty good experience. I really didn't, it wasn't terrible. So the night that I had gotten them done, I actually was watching Grey's Anatomy on Netflix and I was on my phone, I was just laying down and I guess I didn't move enough and my lips got really, really, really stiff. So you guys, it's super important to ice them once you get them done, kind of get the circulation going and kind of move it around and everything. And that's pretty much like what I had to do because my lips were getting so swollen. I do have a video. I'm gonna show you guys of how big they got because they got really big. So this is what they looked like right after I got them done. So you can see they're super swollen. You can kind of see the little marks where the blood is. This is how they looked the night that I wasn't icing them. I wasn't really taking care of them like that. Like I was like, oh, they don't hurt. I'm not gonna ice them. And then they started to hurt and I iced them and it went down and yeah, but this is how big they looked. Look how big! Oh my god, they're so big. So they were really, really um, stiff. They hurt. It felt like a lot of pressure in your lips. I really don't know how to describe how it feels. It just feels like the, it, it's not comfortable. It's just a discomfort. It's not really painful, like excruciating pain or anything. It just, you can feel like there's tension there. I guess it's kind of like when you have... What could I compare it to? Like, I don't really know how to compare it, but it's just... A discomfort like it's kind of like your lips feel bloated in a way I guess you could say so it was just yeah it's one of those things it's a little uncom uncomfortable and so after that I iced them the next day the swelling had gone down a little bit but I just kept icing it and the swelling started to go down more and more and that was pretty much it and then now I haven't had any pain. They don't feel like anything. At first, the first day I got them, I actually couldn't move my lips. I couldn't do like a kissy face, a duck face. Um, I couldn't even do this. Like, I couldn't do anything with my lips. They were so stiff and you really couldn't make any facial expression. Like your lips really were just like stuck like that. Like they couldn't be flexible and move around when you talk or whatever. Now as the day's gone by, that's like the first few days. 
Um, I can do pretty much anything. I can do the kissy face. I can drink out of a straw normally. I can drink a water bottle. At first, it was kind of weird to drink a water bottle just because it was like my lips just couldn't shape up with it. Um, it's definitely scary the first few days. You're like, oh my god, what did I do? Like, I just like botched myself and like, it's really, really scary the first few days. But this only does go down and then you start to look normal, decent again, and it's not that terrible after a few days. Oh, well. How much were they? Because I feel like people are going to ask. I paid $500 for one full syringe. Um, some people do one full syringe. Some people do a half, which is obviously cheaper. And a half, I feel like if it's your first time, I would just go ahead and just do one full syringe. If it's a half, I feel like you're not even going to notice any difference at all once it's healed and done. Um, I still like, I don't know, like even right now, I know they're going to go down just a little bit more, but I feel like I don't see like a majorly huge difference, but I do have really like, I feel like I had big lips before. They just were, there was like no fat or anything inside of them. They were just flat, but they were big, if that makes sense. And so I don't know, next time I might just do half a syringe and kind of see, I might wait a few months and then do a half or what. Um, but I really like the size of them. I like the way they look now. I feel like they look very natural. They kind of fit my face a little bit better. I just feel more... I don't know. I just feel really good with my my new lips. Um, but yeah, they were $500 for a full syringe. I feel like there's other questions. But I mean, that's pretty much it. Um, I am going to answer some questions because I did have people that were kind of rude on my... Um, my snapchat when I posted that I had gotten my lips done because I'm 100% real I I'm not gonna hide it not that serious and they were like are you satisfied with yourself like why'd you get them and all this stuff I'm 100% satisfied with myself there's nothing wrong with me I don't think that I was ugly before I don't think that I'm ugly now like I there nothing I literally just did it just to try it out just to see to experience it like I literally did not have like a legitimate reason why I did them but I didn't have a legitimate reason why not to do them like why not I had the money and it was just kind of like one of those things you know it's like my money my body my life so I'm gonna do what like I want to do um but anyways yeah I hope this was somewhat helpful if you guys are interested like maybe the next time I go get it done I'll take you guys with me but it was just more of the like I just want to do it kind of thing so yeah but I did have a lot of people ask me questions about it that follow me on my Instagram and my Snapchat and they wanted me to like talk about it and um, kind of share my experience and like why did I get them and all that. So that's pretty much it. It literally was not anything crazy. It was a really good experience. Um, the lady was super nice, super friendly. She explained, um, you know, what she was doing every second. She was like, okay, this is what I'm gonna do. We're gonna do this because your lips are gonna look like this. And it was really good. So. That's pretty much it. That's all I can think of is pricing. Um, healing process, like I said, was two weeks. The first few days you're going to swell and then it'll start to shrink and go to normal. Within two weeks, they do last for more or less a year. I think that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, if you guys have any questions over anything else, leave a comment down below and I will answer you guys or I'll do a whole nother video over certain questions of you guys asking. But other than that, I love you guys so, so much and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.